Having a classroom library, I think, is so important. As a student, um, I had a, a, a couple of teachers whereby I really saw them more as human beings and more um, fully formed uh, uh, um, people and not just my teachers um, through their personal library. And I'll give you an example. In fourth grade, um, we changed classes for the first time and I had um, a teacher who really loved mysteries. Um, and she, so her classroom library, whenever she would read those out loud to us, she would become animated in a way that she wasn't um, during the whole rest of the day. So I feel like when a classroom teacher can really convey their passion for books and reading and literacy by sharing what they love, that becomes contagious. Um, and I was already an avid reader, but when I saw that she was also and how much she really loved these books, that really made an impression on me. Uh, and it also was a clear signal that you don't stop reading fun stuff when you grow up. And that was good for me to see also. Um, uh, in fifth and sixth grade, I had teachers who had a really diverse classroom library. So I was introduced not just to nonfiction, which I already love, but to historical fiction, which I hadn't read an awful lot of. Um, and I found characters in those books that enabled me to see myself and have a personal connection to, say, the Civil War or to um, the Spanish Revolution or um, to, um, say, the conquistadors or um, uh, world exploration in a way that I didn't have that through the history textbooks. So um, in fifth and sixth grade, the classroom library was really my gateway to some of those genres that I hadn't discovered on my own elsewhere. <laughs>